we up on the other side. Niggas acting like we tied. I've been gone since like July. Niggas acting like I died. They won't be expecting shit when Capo go to slide. Cause I told them that we put that shit behind us, but I lied. Hey, hey, look who I'm around, man. What up, doe, y'all? It's your boy, Everything DZ, back at it with another video. If you're a brand new, please make sure to like, comment, share, and please subscribe to the channel because we got banger videos coming all the time. And one thing that I am blessed to do is the fact that when I interview somebody and they do something great and I get the chance to actually cover it on here as a reaction, it's the greatest feeling in the world. So for those of you that do not know, I um, just finished up my collegiate career um, at Augustana College, and one of my good, near and dear friends, Reem Hancho, a brother to me, man, uh, he actually has a business called Humble Minutes Clothing. If you haven't seen the video before, I actually interviewed him on this channel, and we talked about how he started his uh, clothing business using COVID relief money. He's got a great story. He's got a lot of hunger and motivation. And this good things come to good people that put the work in and the Quad City News, which is a local news area, the local news outlet in our area where the school is located at. They actually um, covered his story specifically at the Black Business Expo. So I was so happy to see that this happened. So it's only right for me to react to it live on this channel. Bro, I don't even know I'm doing it. So, Reem, when you see this, bro, I just want to let you know, keep going. So proud of you, dog. We talk all the time. So, for motivational purposes, we always boost each other up and get each other going, man, because that's what it's all about, sharing the knowledge, sharing the wealth, sharing the health, and getting people going. So, without further ado, let's hop into the video and see what Reem will showcase. Tomorrow, the QC Empowerment Network is hosting its seventh annual Black Business Expo to help build up small black-owned businesses in our community. News 8's Kalia Patterson shows us how a local college student is taking advantage of this event to build his brand. It's like therapy, I guess. Kareem Washington is a junior at Augustana College. I'm a public health major. And the owner of the clothing line, so, Menace. It's like a mindset to like be able to have like self-control during like tough times, anything. So like I'm from Chicago, it's a lot of you know, violence, structural violence, uh, health disparities and more that affects my community. But to have that inner you know, self-control help you turn that rage or pain into uh, something productive. He started the business when COVID first hit using his school refund check to get started. Yo, I just want y'all to see this because when I interviewed him, a lot of y'all was like, ain't no way he got all of this stuff in the dorm. He's really like, y'all see the press over on this side. He's got stuff all on the beds where he lays it all out, ironing out the clothes. Like my man really started a business out the dorm with it. You know, letting, you know, busting the fuse, you know what I'm saying? This guy's been putting in work and I'm so happy to see his vision and where he started. It was just really the mindset. The mind is a powerful thing, but just having that positive mindset to be able to say, okay, you know, I don't got a lot, but I got a little and I'm going to take this little and I'm going to turn it into something. I'm going to keep working it into something. So it's just awesome to see this, but I was not playing when I told you my boy was really getting it out the door. I had brought like my heat press, uh, printer, I had actually brought a computer. Now, yeah. running his business out of his dorm room, one hoodie at a time. Then this, I just count five seconds. This is so fire. But Kareem says he wants to expand to an online platform to better focus on school. I was doing homework. So he signed up for the Black Business. <laughs> Dude, I, <laughs> hey, I relate to this so much because, man, y'all can't really see it, but I got my whole beat set up. You know what I'm saying? I got my CPA stuff. I got my other stuff over here. But this is also where I work at, too, so... I just, I just love seeing the grind and the hustle from other people too that really get into it. To build his business. It's still amazing be able to, you know, work with other businesses, uh, black owned business and whatever else business there, you know, be able to communicate my message with other people who might think like me. It's an event organized by the QC Empowerment Network. We saw a need in the community where nothing was being done yeah. to 
put the spotlight on Black-owned businesses. And their COO says it's a must-have opportunity to keep small Black businesses thriving. What we yeah. want to do is make sure that we create this space to give them opportunities to grow as a business, to scale up, and then maybe eventually do get that storefront. Or, or And I have to say, I actually, um, I used to have an apartment that was, because now I moved back home with my family, but I had an apartment while I was at school, and it was like right down the street from the South Park Mall where they actually hosted this at. And I am so glad um, that they had this event, but I'm also so mad that I graduated early, so I wasn't able to actually see this event in person. I would have loved to be there in person just to be able to network and see what kind of businesses that were there and how could I support. And part of supporting is just like, I said, simple platform like this, it doesn't cost much just to react, just to give people a platform to be able to talk about what they got going on, because you never know by just talking about it, just by being there, being in that energy, what kind of people you might meet, what kind of opportunities you might get put on to, and what kind of styles and stuff you might get turned on to when it comes to food, when it comes to entertainment, when it comes to music, when it comes to, I said entertainment, yeah. But when it comes to clothing, you never know what you might find there when it comes to those business avenues and they're looking to help you out. So, you know, like you're willing to go buy Gucci, Louis, Fendi, Prada, all this other stuff, go buy Humble Minutes to support your very own. You feel me? Or brick and mortar for their business. A space where these entrepreneurs can feel seen yes. and share their success through adversity. I think the most important thing is the networking amongst the businesses because you have some who have had failure but they learn from it and then they can then share that with those people that are just now starting knowledge yeah. this mogul in the making can use to change his community in rock island kalia patterson wqad news 8. the qc empowerment network says this year's expo will be the largest they've had so far with Amen. 50 businesses participating if you Amen. want to go it takes place tomorrow at south park mall in moline from 1 to 5 p.m Man, see that right there is exactly what it's all about. Oh wow, system. <laughs> ah, the little ad came up. But see that right there is what it's all about. You feel me? It's all about empowering people to be their best and their highest self when it comes to putting people on to opportunities and putting people on a platform. I am so happy um, that my boy Reem got this opportunity because I know him personally and I know the type of grind and what he's put in to where he is now, and he's only gonna keep going further. And I like surrounding myself with people like that because I know I'm gonna be successful. So I wanna surround myself with people that are working to be successful. Everybody that I've interviewed I know is gonna be successful, whether it was Lauren, whether it was Aaron, whether it was Victor, you know what I'm saying? You know, Reem, everybody, you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm just so excited for even the more, I got more people on the roster that you guys don't know about yet that I'm going to interview as well. So um, it's just so awesome to see people that deserve that kind of spotlight to get that spotlight. And Reem, we're proud of you on this channel. We love you, brother. Anytime you got something that you want to be on this platform, if you want to come on here again, talk to the people, motivate the people, you're welcome to any time. But with that being said, it's your boy, Everything DZ. Over and out, man. Peace, blessings, and much prosperity. If you didn't do something for yourself today, go and do it. Get it done for yourself. And that'll be the video. Peace.